Now, the first thing that I want to do is to give us an overview of the accounting system. You can see that on the screen. Now, um, we say that in accounting, we basically, the, the processing of transactions uh, goes through about five stages, okay? And you can see that that is listed here um, from financial transactions to financial documents to books of prime entry to ledger accounts and finally to the tri balance okay so um, I'm sure some of you will have read through this in your kind of online um, lesson notes okay um, but let us go over this now when we talk about financial transactions, we are look, talking about what the event that triggers the whole accounting process. Okay, so that is when we, we sell something, you know, the business sells something, or maybe they buy something, or makes a payment. Okay, so businesses are there to engage in financial transactions. And um, our job as accountants or bookkeepers is to ensure that we track these transactions and um, they are basically properly recorded and uh, posted in the in the in the accounts at the end of the day we will be able to give um, a good summarized information to managers okay to be able to make decisions so when a transaction takes place we as accountants we need an evidence of the transaction that is called a financial document okay and that evidence can be in the form of an invoice or a credit note so for instance if i'm selling something which is a transaction the evidence of that could be an invoice that is generated okay and that evidence needs to be recorded in the account and where is this recorded? Over here, you can see the book of prime entry, okay? Which is the first place where the documents are recorded in the accounting system. Okay, the word prime means first. So any transaction that is being recorded is done first in the book of prime entry. And I'm sure you've seen that already in your lesson notes. Now, after these rec records have been done in the books of prime entry, at the end of the, each period, we need to close down the books of prime entry and post them to the ledger. Okay, so we go this way to the ledger. Um, but the posting from the books of prime entry to the ledger involves what we call the principles of double entry bookkeeping. Sorry, we, we, you know, it should, it should have been double entry bookkeeping over there. Um, now, this is where our debit and credit take place. Okay. Eventually, um, once all the entries in the ledger is done, we need to basically close all the books in the ledger and extract what we call a trial balance, which is a list of all the ledger accounts. Okay. In the ledger. And that is use basically to prepare financial statements right so this is just a brief overview of the accounting system okay and it's a five stage uh, kind of system um i just want to find out if um anybody has any question at this time you can raise your hand or you could um type into the chat okay great now um I'm going to illustrate how this process works, selecting one particular area of accounting. And um, on this page, you can see that I've selected here a sales on credit to a customer. So for instance, if as a business or the business that we work for, um, we do a transaction, which is we sell something to a customer on credit, okay? How will this be recorded or processed through the accounting system? First of all, the transaction is called 
a credit sale, okay? And the document that is generated out of that is called an invoice. And we as bookkeepers, we need to record that invoice in the books of prime entry for sales on credit, uh, which is the sales day book and the sales return day book. Okay. And eventually, at the end of a period, which is usually a month, we, 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 we close off the books of prime entry and post them into the ledger. Now, the posting involves here the principles of double entry. Okay. And um, in the ledger, because we need to do debits and credits there, what accounts do we need to put them to? Okay, I'll summarize them here for you briefly. When we are dealing with a customer uh, on credit, we need to have a debtor's account, a sales account, um, a sales returns account can, can also be open if um, a customer happens to return goes to us and a VAT account, okay? So that's a process which you have to go through in recording a sales to a customer. Great. And um, on this page, I have also illustrated the same thing here by showing the books. First of all, I've, I've, we can see here the book of prime entry called the sales day book. In the sales day book, that is where we record all the credit invoices. So here you can see that on this, on the, for instance, on the 2nd of February, we saw some goods to Body Active Center. Um, the reference refers to invoice number, and um, the invoice was valued at 600 pounds, made up of a net price of 500, uh, plus a VAT of 100 to make 600. There was another sale to Walmart's group, okay, um, worth 240, okay. Now, at the end of the month, what we need to do is to basically add up and close up that book. So here we add up the totals for uh, sorry, all the columns, including the totals, the VAT, and the net. And um, so that is it with the book of prime entry. It will be finished basically. But our job as bookkeepers or accountants is to post these entries into the ledger. In the ledger, we will need to open or call a debtor's account which is account for customers who we sell to on credit. So a debtor's account is opened, a sales account is opened, a VAT account is open. okay? And we post this using um, the principles of double entry. Um, we, we're going to explain later how, why we have to debit some account and credit some account. So you don't need to worry at this stage, okay? So this is an illustration of how the um, sales on credit is processed through the accounting system. Great. Now, um, back to the original chart that I showed you, the five stage uh, uh, system. The question I want to ask is, let's take another area of accounting. Let's say purchases on credit. If we were to buy something on credit from a supplier, what would the process involve? Okay, so I want some feedback from you. So in terms of a credit purchases, what will be the financial transaction in there? What will be the financial document? What books of prime entry do we need to open? And what ledger account? So um, are there any feedback at all? You can basically type it in here you know, uh, into the chat, and I'll, I'll be able to see that. Or if you want to talk, I can allow you. You, you need to click on the, on the person with the arm raised. So can you give me some, uh, can, can, can you give me some feedback on um, credit purchases? If we're buying from a supplier on credit, okay, what process would we need to go through? Can somebody help us? Okay, I can see Sarah is typing something, okay. 
Renata as well. Okay. Great. Right. The widened, I'm going to, um, sorry, I'm going to, I'm going to enable your microphone. Um, can you, can you, can you tell us through your microphone? Can you help us? You can, you can, you can speak to us through the microphone. And I, I could see Renata. Renata was also giving some feedback. Okay, there's a question here that Renata is asking about the, the VAT of 20% and what is the 100? Let me just go over that. Um, I'm going to go over the credit sales, the sales day book here. Now, um, Okay, Rana, you said you said in your note here, V8 is 20%. What is 100? Okay. Um, okay. I don't exactly understand your question, but usually, if you look at the screen, usually you are given a net price, and the net price is the amount before V8. Okay. Um, Okay, okay, Sarah. Uh, sorry, Renata. Okay, uh, let's see here. The the VAT on the the VAT is not on the six hundred. Okay, the VAT is on the net price. The net price is five hundred, which is the amount before the VAT. So twenty percent of five hundred is a hundred, and the net plus the VAT will give you the total of six hundred. Is that okay, uh, Renata? Yes, wonderful, great. Um, there's a feedback coming from Sarah. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see that. Okay, just give us a moment. We just want to make sure that everybody is at the same level. Okay, and we understand what is going on. Sarah, um, I'm waiting to, 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 to look at your feedback. Okay, I can see that you are sending us some information here. Right. Okay, then that's fine. Um, Okay, thank you, Sarah. Okay, regarding the illustration, uh, sorry, the, the, the question I asked about purchases when we are buying from supplies on credit, how would you process that through the five stage? Okay, Sarah, you're saying that we, we need to open what a creditors day book and purchase invoice, okay. So the purchase invoice, well done. The purchase invoice will be the financial document. Okay. Um, the financial document will be the purchase invoice. Then the book of prime entry will be, you, you said here, creditors day book. Actually, it's called purchases day book. But, but that, that, that's, that's very good. Okay. So with regard to suppliers, we basically have what? A purchase invoice, a purchases day book. Then into the ledger, we would, that is illustrated here for us. 
we would open what we call a creditor's account and purchases. Let me start again. Um, we need a credit, uh, sorry, this, the, the, the transaction is a credit purchases. Out of that is generated an invoice. An invoice from a supplier is called a purchase invoice. An invoice to a customer is a sales invoice, but this one is a purchase invoice. The book that we need to open in the books of prime entry is the purchases day book to record the, the, all the purchase invoices from the supplier, but also a purchases returns day book if we happen to return any items to the supplier. Now, all these two books will be added up total at the end of the period, which is usually a month, posted using double entry principles into the ledger, into these accounts, a credit account, purchases account, purchase returns account. You don't need to worry about this ledger account at this moment because we're gonna discuss it in a minute. Perfect. I just wanna make sure that everybody is okay with regard to the accounting system, the flow of um, transactions through the accounting system. Okay, great. Now I'll just give you one, one last example. If for instance, I was uh, processing payroll in a business setting, the financial transaction, the payroll, okay, what document will I need? What document will I need um, as evidence to record this payroll? Um, any ideas? Wages, okay, Reza says wages, good. I will say timesheets, timesheets, because we need the timesheets to be able to go into the payroll system to record it. Okay, now, the book of prime entry that I will need to record that in is called a journal. You don't need to know that, but that is called a journal. Okay. Um, so in terms of books of prime entry, we have the sales day book, which is used to record uh, um, credit sales. The purchases day book is used to record uh, credit purchases. But also, if we're doing a payroll, we will need another one called a journal. A journal, okay, wonderful. And that will be posted into the ledger using the principles of double entry. Okay, great. So this is a quick introduction to the accounting system. Um, I want us to move on to the principles of double entry accounting. Now, when we are posting from the books of prime entry into the, the ledger, we need to use the principles of double entry. And that is the topic four on this page here. Now, there is always two aspects to every transaction. That is the principle, the first principle of double entry. Any transaction that we engage in as a business has two effects in the accounting system. One of the effects is a debit, and the other one is a credit. Okay, now the total debit must always be equal to the total credits. Okay, the second point says at least two accounts in the ledger are affected by every transaction. So um, you can see down here, I have two accounts here. One is called account A. The other one is called account B. Now, if any transaction happens and I need to post it into the ledger, I will have to post it, one as a debit into one particular account, 